This is a food and meat chopper. Okay, so this is the food hopper, and then there's a handle. And I don't know what you call this. Um, I think of it as the awl that moves the food through the, and, and it, this is metal, so, it, and it's heavy cast metal, and it will rust. And when you wash it, usually I try and wipe it with a little bit of oil. And then there's the little screw to attach the handle and the nut to attach the particular size grate. And it comes with three, like this. Um, and I believe that this particular food, meat, food and meat chopper was my great grandma foxes and um uh so i always use this the middle one for when you look at this is finer this is bigger so i always use the middle one for both spam and egg and pickle and for this relish you put this so that the screw part goes all the way through like that okay and then you put the grinder um which one you want and then there's a key so it locks and then you put the nut on just all the way down like that so and then the, the handle will only go one way because one side's smaller one side's bigger so you put the handle on this way and then you put in this screw. So there's only like four, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six parts. That's all it is. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I would highly advise that you have a second bowl underneath because the juice will come out of here and run down here and come down here and run into this bowl. So we're all set now. And you get a nice bowl and put it under here like this. And then you have two oranges to this big, and it's a two pound, this is a two pound bag. From Costco? From Costco. Cut your, you have everything ready and cut up. That's why all the fruit is washed and rinsed. And I just cut these oh, no. lovely oranges into quarters. And you don't peel them. Just get a okay. So you just fill the hopper with about half a cup at a time. That's good. I saw another leaf in there somewhere. Oh, that's a stem. Anyway, and then you kind of hold your hand over it because when you do this, okay, see, they'll jump up sometimes. See, there's another leaf. But you can hear them popping and squishing and it's just kind of fun and when I was a kid I used to help my mom do this all the time Doop, there went one so you just keep on filling up half cup at a time and you can see um, yeah and so it's not really impressive right now but when you get down to the bottom here so there's already juice dripping. This is pure cranberry juice, fresh. So, and you can look down in here and see all the juice. That's all just nummy, nummy, nummy.
so not like this get it so it's like this okay and then put it one in and hold it and help to push it in so you may not want kids to do this although the nice thing about this is that if you feel any pressure you can back off and you won't be grinding your fingers so but you just push it in and then the juice just pours so but so now you can watch and you can see the orange start to come through and it's the beautiful rind and it adds the the citrus oil um, Oh, it's just so good and it's really good for you so and it just adds a ton of flavor to balance out the cranberries and you have to be careful so these oranges don't squirt at you <laughs> there look at how much juice is in there now yeah and look at how much juice is in the bowl <laughs> and like I said we're gonna take all of this juice and put it back in there and it will just be so much flavor. Wipe everything off you can on the outside. Okay, and then put it right there. Okay. Cranberry orange relish. And then we're gonna unscrew the bottom from the first. Okay, and you just don't move it very much. And it might drip a little bit. And then you're going to take it and pour the whole thing in. Like that. So you can save all that juice. And then you can take this off. And then pull this out. And sometimes there will be a larger piece of the peel. And just, you can either chop it up or throw it out, whatever. But, um... Try and get everything out that you can. So we have our juice. It's a lot of juice. And our relish. First I just kind of like to mix it around a little bit to just distribute the orange throughout the cranberries good. It just makes it easier. And then Add all of this lovely juice back in. Just, just dump the whole thing in. That's a lot of juice. But that fruit will reabsorb all that juice. So it looks a little bit runny, but it, it'll, it'll soak it back up. And um, you can still see the juice down in there, but it'll reabsorb and be lovely. So this is really light sugared. And um, I imagine you could do muck fruit or stevia or anything else too, but I still stick with sugar on this because that's just how we always made it. So I'm just gonna put three quarters of a cup of sugar and that I, that's really, really light. And usually I don't measure the cinnamon, but I'll try and be proper and measure. And so I can say about how much I put in there. But um, a nice rounded one for, for uh, when I make one batch. This is a double batch, so I'm going to put in a nice little rounded bit. So I'm going to put two in there. Rounded teaspoons of cinnamon, which is a goodly amount, but once again, I like cinnamon. So anyway, and you just kind of move it around and let it... Oh, smell. Smell that. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah. Yep, that's the relish. I think this is one of the best things on earth. I really do. It's it's just super nice. So, mm. wow. Wow. That's pretty tart. <laughs> I think, um, even for me. I think three quarters of a cup is what I usually put in a single batch. So I'm going to put in, well, at least another half a cup, and then I'll try it again. This is, that is better. So that was a total 
of one and a quarter cups of sugar. Hope you enjoy. I hope you get a chance to try some. Or maybe you could do it in a food processor. Yeah. Um, I don't have one. <laughs> but um, I do have the food grinder chopper that was my great-grandmother's. So, um, like I said, I'm 64, 60, almost 65. And um, it's older than I am. But they do still, you can find them sometimes at secondhand stores. So have fun. Have fun. Yeah, thank you for sharing this recipe, Mom, and <laughs> hope everyone is enjoying Plug Bye! Bye!